Hello, everybody. We're going to give you our interpretation of what really happened to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Here is a story that you must believe. It's the old, old story of Adam and Eve. Now they were the founders of the human race And they lived in a most unusual place Till they ate an apple and fell from grace Oh my T'was a happy life they were leading In that beautiful garden of Eden They wore no clothes, never missed a meal And they had no reason to lie or steal And they never had heard of sex appeal Oh my now Adam went on a trip one day, told Eve to be good while he was away. He left her at home with nothing to do. She was alone and lonesome too, and the villain appeared as villains do. Oh my. A snake drove up in a Packard car. He had gin on his breath and a long black cigar. When he saw Eve, he softly sighed and said, Come on, kid, let's go for a ride. <laughs> then he climbed in and sat by his side. Oh, my. They, they drove, drove away, away with a wicked laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but they only had gone about a mile and a half. When they ran out of gas by an apple tree, and the snake proposed that they eat two or three, and Eve replied, It's okay by me. I'm so glad you came up to see me, Snakey. How am I doing? You fascinate me, brother. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> now, Eve didn't know that she was in danger, for she had never been told not to trust the stranger. She ate the apple, and it tasted like more, but there was a sign that she never saw that said, Eating these apples is again the law. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm coming around here, swiping my apples and pinching them. In due course of time, Eve came walking back with a couple of apples in a paper sack. They were out in the cold, and they thought they'd freeze, so Eve picked some fig leaves from the trees and made herself a pair of BVDs. Oh, my. Don't ask how the story came to be, for I must admit it's a mystery to me. But I think after Eve got out of this mess and wanted to get it off of her chest, she sold a story to the Morning Express.